do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos students we'll start new video question number 1 2016 physics paper neat exam so we'll start with question number 1 students let us solve the question number 1 of neat physics paper 2016 <coughs> the question is what is the minimum velocity with which a body of mass m must enter a loop of radius r so that it can complete the loop This uh, question seems to be incomplete, but we'll have to write the answer. Firstly, we have to understand this is a vertical loop. This is a case of a vertical loop whose radius is r. The particle has to move in the vertical loop like this. This is the center. If we, we know that if this is a string, suppose, and the stone is there and it is revolving. in this circular loop we know that at the bottom to have a circular loop to successfully complete the loop to complete the loop here at the lowest point of the motion we have to provide the value of the velocity at the lowest point this point is say l lowest point this is the highest point of motion this is the midpoint i write m for this at each and every point at the lowest point we have to supply a velocity which is equal to under root of 5 gr at the highest point we have to provide a velocity of under root gr this is the velocity at the highest point if at all you want the body to move in a circular loop and that also depends on the condition whether the body if this is a rod then this is also not required if this is a rod is it rod a rod and a stone is there in, this is true only in case of a string so at the midpoint we require velocity equals to under root 3 gr so that means uh, if i see all the options are correct and 2 gr might be somewhere here it might be somewhere here because the speed goes on decreasing as we move from here to here at the lowest point if the body so the question is at which point of the at, at which point of the circular path the particle enters the loop at which point of the circular path the particle enters the loop if the particle enters the loop at this point then this much of velocity is provided then only it will complete the loop if it enters at the midpoint this much of velocity has to be provided so this will be the answer then At the lowest point, this is the answer. Midpoint, this is the answer. At the highest point, this is the answer. This is five root five, root three, and root one. So two will be somewhere here. At any point, suppose it is under root of two g r. So that all depends on which point you allow the body to enter the loop. So in this way, all answers are correct. But in general. when nothing is mentioned then the first priority is to let the object enter at the lowest point generally if a string is at rest and we give a velocity obviously we provide the velocity at the lowest point but this question is incomplete but we'll assume that it has to be at the lowest point uh, give a velocity and it will complete the loop so at the lowest point case then this is the right answer okay and how this is done just by equating the energies how this is done 
just let me just uh, get that value of 105 gr this is a loop this is a radius r this is the body of mass m and uh, this is the highest point this is the lowest point we suppose that i'm providing a velocity v lowest point vl that is what i have to find then i know that the total energy here at this lowest point and total energy here at the highest point that energy will balance out the lowest point energy is kinetic which is half mass of the particle and vl square the kinetic energy part plus the potential energy being zero at the zero level this is called the datum so zero level equals to highest point the kinetic energy is half m v h square plus the potential energy with this as datum this is uh, height is 2r r plus r so this is 2r so it is mg 2r and uh, I know that this is a uh, half m v h square, but because we know that the highest point is on top of gr, so v h square is only gr plus 2 mgr because this is 2 mgr. So this is mgr, this is 2 mgr, half mgr, 2 plus half is 5 by 2, this is 5 by 2 mgr. So I can equate this with this one. What I'm getting is half mvl square is 5 by 2 mgr 5 by 2 mgr this m this m will cancel this two this two will cancel so i'm getting vl square is 5 gr or vl is under root 5 gr so that is why this is the right answer to this question okay thank you